The London Independent reports that the Israeli military is being urged to investigate the recent shootings of at least 12 impoverished Palestinian teenagers and young men collecting gravel in an effort to eke out an income within 800 meters of Gaza's heavily guarded northern border. The youngsters, including at least two under 15 years old, were shot and injured as they gathered the gravel to sell cement manufacturers struggling to meet a fraction of the demand for building materials still banned from entering Gaza through Israel. The shootings are the latest development to come to light in a more general military enforcement of a buffer zone inside Gaza's border. The UN says this has resulted in 22 civilian deaths and 146 injuries since the end of Israel's 2008 to 2009 military onslaught on the Hamas-controlled territory. A 91-year-old man and two other civilians were killed last month as they grazed sheep close to the border. 16-year-old Mohammed Moga was shot in his side at what he says was a range of 700 meters, well beyond the 300-meter border exclusion zone declared in 2008 by the Israeli military. He told the Independent he had been sifting sand from a pile of gravel in a cooking sieve with his back to the border before loading it onto a donkey cart when he was hit. The UN's Office of Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs reported in August that the restricted zone covers 35 percent of Gaza's farmland. It says a combination of raised farmland and enforcement of the exclusion zone has cost Palestinian farmers around $50 million per year.